We're going to make something delicious with ground beef and potatoes. Peel some potatoes, chop them up into cubes, rinse them out, put them to boil for about five minutes. Don't overcook them. My potatoes are ready. Shut it off. Chop up some onion. Saute your meat a little bit. Put in our onions. Saute for about two minutes or so. I'm going to put some uh, steak spices, some oregano, and uh, a couple of shakes of smoked paprika. We have a cake here. Saute everything together. I'm gonna put a couple of shakes of roasted garlic and pepper to give it a little flavor. Now you can taste it if it needs something. Mine needs a little bit of salt. Not too much because the spices already have. And it's almost ready. I'll let it simmer for about two more minutes again some uh, drumsticks in the air fryer and then I just thought of it <laughs> so again it depends how many you're gonna make so this is what I'm using panko breadcrumbs Montreal chicken garlic and pepper lemon and pepper and smoked paprika a little bit of uh, each seasoning but I only have five here so I just you know a couple of sprinkles there <laughs> So it depends, how, again, how much you have. And of course, I put about two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. I put foil at the bottom. Now your choice. There we go. We're gonna put it in. It tells you where to set it. We're gonna set it for chicken, of course. And they are ready. It's about three tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. I put it. And I put my potatoes in and I'm going to saute them. I'm gonna put a little bit of salt. If you wanna put a little bit of pepper, do it also. And I have an onion already chopped up here. I'm going to put that in and saute everything together. Until the potatoes and the onions get a nice color. I'm going to put a little bit more, less of a little bit more olive oil. Once you see the onions are sauteing and the potatoes, we're going to take some smoked paprika and put some on top and keep on stirring until it gets a nice color on medium heat always. Once your potatoes are nicely sauteed and have a nice color. Once you put all your beef on top of the potatoes. So now I have some uh, mixed cheddar here, mozzarella and cheddar, which I'm going to put on top of my meat and leave it on low and cover it. And I'm making a nice garden salad. It's ready. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, so good. Quick and easy.
and the kids will love it. So enjoy. Always eat it in good health. Don't forget to subscribe and God bless. Oh my God. Delicious.